When you first start out on your trading journey, it can seem if there is an overwhelming amount of information to learn, and figuring out where to start can be very hard. This video will show you, the complete beginner, how to understand the basics of candlestick charts so you're able to effectively read candlestick charts. When looking at a chart, it can be highly confusing. There can be lines, numbers, and indicators everywhere. So let's strip this chart down to its most basic form, its price action. How different does it look when we just look at the candlesticks? All the indicators I removed are generated from the candlesticks. Candlesticks are the most widely used representation of price action. When you hear someone talk about price action, they're talking about the movement of price over a period of time. This price action is the most important information for any trader because it is easy for any trader to see exactly what the price is doing at any given time. The chart is made up of lots of individual candlesticks. Candles tend to be bullish or bearish. On the left, we have a green candle, which represents a bullish candle. Bullish simply means the price is increased over the time period. On the right, we have a red candle, which is bearish. Bearish simply means price is decreased over the time period. When I say time period, what I mean is the price action movement within a specific period of time. For example, if you're looking at a five minute chart, each candle will be formed over five minutes. If looking at an hourly chart, it means each candle will be formed over an hour, a four hourly, four hours, and so on and so forth. In this sped up video, we can see how candles are moving and forming over a specific time period. The price action is moving up and down throughout the time period. Across the bottom is time, across the side is the price. Time moves from left to right, and price moves up, indicating an increased price, or down, indicating a decreased price. So what about the actual candles themselves? We can gather more information from the candles. The rectangular part of the candle is called the body. What the body shows is specific price action for the opening and closing price of the candle. So with a bullish candle, the bottom of the candle is the opening price and the top of the candle is the closing price. Bearish candles are reversed. The top of the body is the opening price and the bottom is the closing price. Let's take things one step further. On our charts, we are more likely to see candles that not only consist of bodies, but also of vertical lines of various lengths sticking out from either the top or the bottom of the candle bodies. These are most commonly called wicks, tails, or shadows. At TradeWind Plus, we use the term wicks. These represent the extremes of price movement, the high and the low of price action within the time period. The high and low is the same for either bullish or bearish candles. Together with the bodies, we now have the open, high, low, and close. You'll often hear and see this referred to as the OHLC. If you hover over a candle on a chart, you'll see the OHLC displayed, as well as the time and date of the candle. You will also see other candles like these that have little or no body. These are known as doji candles. What a doji candle is telling you is that the price opened and closed at the same or very near the same price, as there is little or no body to the candles. So although the price may have moved up and down throughout the time period, this is how they look when the open and close is very similar. We will look at further candlestick patterns in the next candlestick video. So let's have a look at the chart back from where we started. We can see that all the information is based around price action. We can see some bullish candles, this is showing as the market is increasing in price, and we can see some bearish candles, showing as the market is falling in price. We also have some doji candles we can identify. Candles show the open, high, low and close of price action over a certain period, known as the OHLC. There are bullish, bearish and doji candles. Nearly all technical indicators are created from the OHLC. Up next is Trading with Candlesticks Part 2, where we'll look at the best profitable candle patterns to look for. Thank you for watching. Do you want to learn more about candlesticks? Click here to watch Part 2. To join our live trade room for free, where you'll watch our professional traders take profitable trades, click here. Our next free trading strategy training webinar will be coming up soon, so make sure you sign up by clicking here. Subscribe to our channel to get access to our free weekly trade planning session by clicking here.